All right, hello everyone. So I've been getting a lot of requests lately to do another update video on my trophies or do another trophy challenge. And, uh, you know, a lot of us are home right now trying to make the best of it. And uh, thankfully, I've been using this time to play some games and uh, I've been working on some Platinums as well. So I've got a lot of interesting ones to share. And uh, I'd also like to hear what you're all playing as well. Now, if you remember when I did the trophy challenge video, 30 Platinums in 30 days, the basis of that video was hey, you know, I, I don't really have a whole lot of time to play games nowadays. Uh, obviously, we have a channel where we do PlayStation news, documentaries, unboxings, but we don't really do much like gameplay here, right? So I can't really mix the two, but that was my basis. All right, I'll do a video with some games, get to play them, and I get to make a video. But since doing that, that was 30 Platinums in a month, and I got really burned out towards the end of it where I had to lean on some of those really easy games, which by the way, I did not realize that was one publisher, Ratalaka Games, is that how you pronounce that? I didn't realize one publisher was responsible for all those games, or most of those games that have Platinums in about 30 minutes to an hour. That was insane. You know, I got really burned out. And so once again, I went through a bit of a dry spell where I haven't played anything, but just recently in the past two months or so, kind of got back into it in the sense of like, I'm playing what I want on my terms, um, which has been really great. So I got PSM profiles pulled up. We're going to talk about some of the uh, trophies I've been earning recently. So as you can see on the very top, we got Hannah Montana, the movie that was uh, the last platinum I had for... Um, the 30 Platinums in 30 Days video. And then up here we got the first Destiny. I didn't like play this new, but rather it jumped back to the top of my list because I used it to record gameplay footage for the back button attachment review that I did uh, in January. So that's why that shot back up to the top and I'm not gonna ever finish Destiny. This was a game that immediately I said, I'm not gonna Platinum this, but I'll play it on my main account just so I can you know, play with friends more easily. Uh, then we got Wadham. Uh, so Wadham is a game where uh, it's from the same creator of Katamari Damase or the uh, or Nobi Nobi Boy, if you remember that on the PlayStation 3. I always love his games. They're so ab like abstract, so obscure, and Wadham, of course, is no different. It's this world that basically blows up and you have to start anew as the mayor, which the mayor is this sentient green square with a hat where every time he takes the hat off there's a present under there that explodes and everybody loves it and everything in the game has eyes and a mouth mouth and is sentient and you get to play as those characters uh anything you can play as and you have to rebuild society with all these really you know somewhat odd but easy to figure out puzzles very odd game didn't take very long although i guess it does say platinum in nine hours 57 minutes but that's based on the first trophy and your last trophy um so that doesn't mean all that was accrued time played jack 2 is actually very recent for me the thing about <laughs> this is uh so i've played you know the jack franchise you know i all love the jack franchise i've played it so many times i can't count how many times i have however i didn't actually finish um i never had the platinum for the um ps2 emulated version on ps4 and uh i really wanted to play it but however i was in this rock and a hard place where i have all these great games on my shelf that i know are in the backlog i know i gotta start them like death stranding days gone spider-man uh final Fantasy 7 remake just dropped i just got the deluxe edition in the mail i wanted to grab that before it completely sold out so I had all this great stuff, but at least back in what the end of March, I, th I said, you know what, <laughs> I want to replay Jack 2 again. So I did and I knocked that platinum out pretty quick because I've just played that game so many times. But once again, a brilliant time to go back to Jack 2. And uh, I'm still missing the platinums from the emulated PS2 versions of Jack 3 and Jack X Combat Racing. So after I finished Jack 2, and this was a tweet I sent out, I said, should I play Jack 2 or Death Stranding? And then death stranding was actually second and uh so this is a very long platinum very divisive game of course because uh you know it's interesting i covered this game well i've i've been covering playstation content on youtube for like over eight years so i'm so familiar with all these you know major sony ip launches and so i remember death stranding from start to finish with its you know announcement pre-release the news flow for it, it coming out the divisiveness the reviews uh, and so I was really excited to try it for myself. Um, and I'm one of those people that did enjoy it. As you can tell, I went for the full platinum, but it was a little bit scary because I, you know, the game is intentionally very sloggy in the beginning. Uh, it really depends on how you take the gameplay. You might like it, you might not like it. Um, but it seems like everyone's reaction initially is that you don't like it. And so when I was going through it, I thought, oh no, I'm one of those, I, I don't like it. I think I'm one of those people that just doesn't really get what this game's going for. But then it picked up for me. Um, and I went for the uh, went for the platinum there, which took a little over 100 hours 
total. So that's a lot of deliveries you have to make in the game. But Death Stranding is very much a, a game where people want to go out of their way to say it's a walking simulator. I think that's being uh, pretty derogatory intentionally because it's not a walking simulator. There's a lot more going on. It's a lot of resource management. It's a lot of, um, you know, figuring out the best way to approach uh, your next delivery. And uh, for Death Stranding, the, the key there is setting up a zipline network, which I kind of did in the later half of the game. I probably should have done it a little bit sooner, but uh, for me, Death Stranding started to get very rewarding, and that's kind of where the trophies ended up leading me, was a more rewarding experience where I was efficiently building out the zipline network to um, you know, get all my deliveries done in a timely manner. And it was such a long game. I mean, I don't have as much patience as I used to when it came to hunting for trophies. I still really enjoy it, but you know, I'm very easy to throw something away now if I'm not, you know, if the trophies start to get really annoying, right? Or I just don't want to go for 100 hour platinums anymore. But something told me to just start this on my main account and go for it. And uh, yeah, that was the first 100 hour platinum I've had in years, I think, actually. Um, then we got to try to the Lost Legacy. So <laughs> this is this is where it starts to get into the palate cleansing territory because Death Stranding was a long game. Uh, actually, it says platinum in one week, four days. So yeah, that was a, a very long week for me. Keep that in mind. Uh, I pretty much played it nonstop. That was all I was doing for that week. But anyway, I went into more palate cleansing games that took less time. So Uncharted Lost Legacy was a game I unfortunately never even started. Like Uncharted 4, I'm still missing the platinum for. I'm sorry, but uh, Lost Legacy, I never even started. I knew it was obviously a shorter game. It was an originally DLC, got turned into a full budget price $40 game. Jumped into that. I really enjoyed the Lost Legacy, although ironically, I did not enjoy Chapter 4, which is where the map really opens up, uh, which is probably the most non-linear the game ever really got. As in terms of the entire Uncharted franchise, as you go up from PS3 to PS4, uh, areas open up a lot more. It's still linear as a game, right? But uh, Chapter 4 of Lost Legacy is a pretty big area that lets you approach it in a number of ways. You can go, you can do all these uh, towers and uh, look for these, uh, like little, like gold coins or whatever, in whatever order you wanted. So, uh, but I didn't enjoy it cause it was so, I don't know. I found it difficult to memorize where I even was. Like, it's not often I play a game where I can't learn the map, but I just did not learn that area. And I had to keep going back there for trophies, but otherwise Lost Legacy was another great Uncharted game. Here we go. God of War. <laughs> All right. Now look at this right here. See? The 16th of April, uh, Platinum, one year, 11 months. That means my first trophy was when the around when the game came out to where the Platinum came in at one year, 11 months. So this is something where it's been on my backlog for a very long time. I am ashamed to say that it took me this long to get to it, but I'm very thankful that I did decide to go back to it. Um, and it is a fantastic game. It really is. It's, it's something else for sure. And you know, with uh, this God of War, I had a tough time adjusting to the the change in controls uh it, it really was like i just could not get over using the face like i'm used to using the face buttons from the the first run of the uh, the god of war games on psp ps2 ps3 so i had to change the control scheme and that um gave me that made me get the hang of it a lot more and what you end up learning about the 2018 God of War is that there's so much more depth to it than the previous entries, right? So when you start doing the Valkyrie battles, uh, you know, you get to them, it's just a boss arena, and boom, go for it. And it's like a, a Dark Souls scenario where you can't go in there and just mash buttons. And really, the God of War franchise was always just that. You can mash buttons, you can kind of have fun, it's mindless. When you're playing on easy, you don't have to worry. You could play God of War on easy, and those Valkyries are still going to give you a problem. So it is, you have to learn the mechanics, you have to learn their attack patterns, and uh, you know, it's it's very clean, like it feels so fluid and dynamic. Uh, God of War, just once you really get into the attack patterns and, and dodging and parrying, feels so gratifying. And that last Valkyrie, ridiculous. <laughs> I was getting whooped so many times, and that is uh, something I can openly admit is, you know, for the amount of Platinums I have, I'm not very good at games. I'm not. I'm past my prime. And I don't even really know if I had a prime. But there are some games where, you know, I'm better at them than others. And uh, that we'll get to a game here in a second. Uh, Subnautica, another Platinum in 10 months, 4 years. 
So that one I started a long time ago. Really loved what it was going for. It's a underwater exploration game. It's one of those low, very, I don't want to say very, but, you know, a lower budget game. Very small development team. So this game, you know, released on PC first, um, came to consoles after the fact. Very, you know... It's buggy. It's got a lot of pop in. Uh, it's got a lot of frame rate issues, but it's just fun. Um, look, going through the underwater environment, you know, crafting materials, building a little under underwater base. So got back in the swing of things there and uh, cleaned up that game. Uh, I'm working on Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. I've said this like I think a billion times now, but I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh! kid. And honestly, I've tried so hard to get into the Magic the Gathering. I've done game nights. I've played the game a number of times. Uh, I've played with a bunch of decks and magic, but I just... I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh kid. I think it's... I don't know. I, I enjoy it much more. But Legacy, Legacy of the Duelist is a lot more demanding. And this is a um, one of their, one of those PSN 100%, so no platinum there. Medieval Remake. One day, 16 hours. Doesn't take long for Medieval. Really great game. Um, it's definitely a game of its time, as in it's uh, it's it looks beautiful, but it plays exactly like it did before. So it's you know very stiff, and uh, there's not really a whole lot you can do in terms of <laughs> strategically approaching it. You know, it's just kind of a run around, mash some zombies, and things like that. The interesting thing about Medieval is that it's uh, a game that has a lot of unique enemies. There's like 50 different unique. Uh, character models, enemy models in the game, which nowadays you don't often see. Uh, a lot of things that develop developers will do when they approach games with uh, that are more lengthy, even if they're upwards of eight, ten hours, you just see a lot of the same character patterns, or you see a character model that just has a different clothing item or, or colorway in a later level to signify that it's more difficult. But Medieval is a different game in that a lot of the a lot of the enemies are unique. Luminous Remastered. This is something where <laughs> so listen to this. Uh, what I often admit is I will start a game on another account if I know I'm not going to platinum it because I want my trophy completion rate to be quite high on my main account. I will admit that's something I do. I And I I accidentally started Luminous Remastered on my main account. Um, I love Luminous. I'm like really good at this game. So it's one of the few games I am good at. But I just didn't want to do this platinum because... It's kind of annoying, and then I realized, oh, I started on the main account, I earned a trophy by accident, now it's stuck here. I figured I'd go on and off with this, so it says platinum in three months, one week, so I've been on and off with Luminous Remastered, just toiling away at it. There's a puzzle mode that's just ridiculous and gets really difficult in the later uh, levels, but what's really going to get you is the, uh, there's like it's like a boss rush mode where it's, it's versus a computer. Um, so you're trying to complete more blocks before they do to kind of push their side of the screen smaller and smaller until they can't make any more moves. And there's a trophy for beating all 10 of the bosses uh, without losing, without restarting. And man, that is tough. That was one of the most difficult trophies I ever did. And I got to a point where I was like, I'm not going to do this. This game's going to sit at 91% on my list forever. Um, and I, I, at one point, I just got lucky and, and I got it. I did Tekken 7 in uh, three days, 16 hours. That's another palate cleanser. I looked up the trophy guide and I knew, oh, okay, this is like a 10-hour game. I enjoy Tekken a lot. Um, I'm not really huge into fighters. I'm not good at them. I'm, in fact, I'm very, I'm very bad. I'm a button masher there, and I'll never, I'll probably never get into competitively or even getting decent at a fighter. Uh, so I'm currently working on City Skylines. Now, this is a coincidence. I have nothing to do with trying to promote to the PS Plus lineup that everyone is very angry about in May. I love this game. I started it a very long time ago. I'm actually going to click into this one. My first trophy was in 2017. I bought it right when it came out. Um, and it's a very long game. And it's it's uh, it's got a lot of DLC, too. It's got three, four, eight, eight DLC packs. I'm going for the 100% Club. Only 18 people have reported uh, reported it in population on PSM profile. So this doesn't mean all of PSM, but at the very least, 18 people are reporting they uh, have 100% on PSM profile. So I want to be part of that very exclusive club. I like City Builders. It's not always best played on consoles, but the fact that it was on PS4 and I could earn some trophies, I was totally going for it. Uh, I recently started it back up again before they announced that Plus lineup. And, uh, and everybody's not happy about it. I recommend it. At least try it. If it stays on plus, um, give it a go. And that's it. Here's some stats you can look at. I don't know if I've ever shared this on the main channel using PSM profiles. But country rank, world rank views, 
Uh, I'm trying to get my completion rate over 90%, so that's kind of my low-key 2020 goal. And uh, so far, I've made some decent progress. I was at like 78% like before the trophy challenge. So with 38, 39 some odd platinums, I got it up to 82%. So I, I really, what I have to do is knock down this number, unearned trophies. That's what I have to work towards. Um, but that's it. What are you all playing? That's what I want to know if you're at home, if you're non-essential. What have you been playing? Might uh, want to look into some games that I might want to play. But I also still have Spider-Man Days Gone and um, uh, Final Fantasy VII that I have to get to. Still got a lot of games to play. Always a good problem to have. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't yet, please subscribe for the best PlayStation news, reviews, and updates that are here on YouTube. You can and should follow me on Twitter at MysticRyan. And that is it. I will see you all in my next video. You take it easy.